Hello people, Strange Templar here. Welcome to my new series. Today we're going to be starting XCOM Enemy Within. Uh, Longtime members of my live stream will remember that I have played through XCOM Enemy Unknown live on stream. And to follow up with that, we're going to be playing Enemy Within here on the YouTube channel. Uh, so, we did play on Classic Difficulty for last one, and we are going to be playing Classic on this. So, I'm not entirely new to this game. I have played it before. Uh, I have not played Enemy Within, however. Only the Enemy Unknown version. So, the Enemy Within is a add-on to it. It adds more... Adds more options, adds more missions, adds more variation to the game. And uh, so that's what we're going to be playing today. Uh, there is an option for Iron Man where all your choices and decisions are saved immediately as soon as you make them. And there's really no turning back from any of your decisions. Uh, for the YouTube series, we're not going to be doing that. I want the ability to, in case I mess up, go back, fix the things that I made. That way, as a YouTube series, I don't have to start over from the beginning. I hope you guys understand that. Uh, so with that, we're going to go ahead and get the game started and uh, enjoy this little here cutscene. Uh, enable tutorial experience? No. I pretty much know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to pretend like I do. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. All right, so the aliens have landed and they are ready to Take our lives, and our bodies, and our minds, and everything else that we hold dear. Uh, when we first start, we have to decide where we want to start off. Each continent has different benefits. Air and space uh, makes aircraft and air aircraft weapons cost 50% less. Europe, uh, laboratories and workshops cost 50% less. Uh, Asia, all projects in the foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. We have ways in South America to instantly finish autopsies and interrogations and Africa where the monthly XCOM funding is increased by 30% um, I think what we're gonna do for this one is do South America because it helps us get ahead a lot quicker um, it's nice to have less expenses from the Europe or North America even Asia with the foundry projects uh, but South America just lets us get our autopsies and our integrations done immediately and that lets us really jump ahead in research which is what is going to be needed to to get ahead in this game so i'm going to go ahead and start off in south america 
And uh, with that, it is time to start on our very first mission, Argentina. All right, launch mission. All right, so this is the main battle phase. The object is different from the others. It does not appear to be the same type of pod we've seen used by the aliens during their abduction operations. We may gain new insights if we recover it. Okay, let's do it then. Advised, Commander. Intel confirms enemy activity in this area. Makes perfect sense. All right, it's like a pod that we've never encountered before, considering the fact that we've never encountered a pod before. Moving. Let us go and. Uh, it appears to be a containment device of some kind. We can only assume it has an internal self-destruct mechanism like the other alien equipment. Although it must have already been disabled somehow. Makes perfect sense. So MELD is a new resource uh, brought in by enemy un or enemy within. So confusing having enemy unknown and enemy within. I'm going to get those mixed up multiple times. Uh, so if you click on it here, we collected 10 MELD. I don't know what it's used for yet. Like this one in the area. The more we can recover, the more we'll learn about what's inside them. Perfect. More meld is good. The others you find may still have operational self-destruct modules. Be careful. Perfect. Sounds great. Okay. So be be careful is what they're saying. Uh, so this is the basic uh, layout here. We have four team members, and basically these small bars on the top. That's their health. So. Fum Fumiko has five health right now, and the big bars on the bottom, that's our movement and uh, action bars. So what we can do is we can move here, and we'll use up one of our bars, and now we could either continue moving if we wanted, or we could shoot if we had anyone in range, which we don't. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and do Overwatch, which basically says I'm going to sit here and instead of taking an action, if I encounter a hostile at any point before my next turn, I'm going to take a shot at it. So it's basically your stand and shoot mechanism. And it's a great way to move up safely and just to be overall cautious in this game. And it really pays off in dividends later on as enemies get more uh, powerful. So let's go ahead and move you up here. You aren't going to have the ability to shoot, but you're a little bit further than where you were before. And that, with this character at least, we can move up here where it's going to be a little bit safer for you. Generally, these pods here is going to signify that there's a hostile alien presence around. So, hopefully, what we're going to do is keep moving up. It, and try to stay safe. Life on Earth. There they are. Something never before seen in recorded history. Oh, it's been recorded. Well, it's been seen. It just hasn't been recorded. So now, we have an alien in our sight. We have the option of either shooting at it with one. We have a 40% chance of hitting it. We can damage, do up to four damage. And it only has three health. And it has a 10% chance of critically striking. So once we do our attack, though... We aren't going to be able to do any more moves with this guy. So we want to make sure that they're in a safe spot. Make sure that they're f defensible. And uh, let's go ahead and take that shot. See what we can do. Completely missed. Awesome. So, you then. Let's move you up a little bit closer. And hopefully get a shot off with you. Same thing. 45% chance. 4 damage. And it's dead. Perfect. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. That's generally the case. Any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. So basically, every time you kill an enemy, their weapon will self-destruct. There's nothing you can do to recover it at this point. Uh, once that wealth weapon self-destructs, it's gone for good. I'm going to go ahead and overwatch here, just in case some aliens decide to come from behind these guys. I'll at least have a chance to get a shot off. Uh, before they sh before they attack the and here we're gonna move up and put you in overwatch as well so generally speaking oh that's a bad place Cover the heavy fire in this zone. Oh, at least they missed perfect okay so you'll see that there's a yellow shield right here this means 
that I'm being flanked, which means I get no cover bonus whatsoever. These guys with the blue half shields are like this, this means that they're in half cover. Basically, it makes it a lot harder for enemies to hit them. If they were behind a wall like this, see how you can kind of see there's half cover right, or full cover right there. Anything coming from this side would have a really, really hard time hitting them. Uh, with you though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you up here, which will put you in cover. And now, I can shoot at you, who's also behind cover. I only have a 30% chance of hitting. That is Missed. Not good. That is not good at all. Okay, you. Then, actually, let's take you and move you over here. Heading to that location. Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's get you moving up here. Oh, that's dashing. So basically. You'll notice there's a blue and a yellow line. Anything within the blue line will take one movement unit. Anything within the yellow will take up their both movements. So by moving up there, they're not able to shoot. But at least they're in position to do something later on. Uh, so with this character, I'm also going to dash up. That way they can cover each other. So it's very tactical in a sense where you want to make sure everyone's helping each other out. This person... For example, is g probably going to be in a little bit of trouble. What I can do with you is move you right about here, and that's going to take away your the alien's cover. So now I'll have I went from a 30% chance to hit to a 97% chance to hit, dead and, and it's gone. dead. Perfect. Okay, so with these guys now, what I'm going to do is the first character, I'm going to move Head up to down. here, just so you have a place to shoot, in case I need to. And this character then, I can dash all the way up here. Contact. And there's some more aliens. Awesome. Just what we wanted. Actually, now we're in a pretty good position to face those guys. Okay, and then you, so you'll be in position quickly. We're going to dash you up here. And now my goal is always to be in some sort of cover. Anytime you're in an open area, you're really, really susceptible to taking damage, and you just don't want that. And here's the other meld canister that we'd like to get, if possible. So this guy's on Overwatch, which means if any of these characters pop out, he's going to take a reflex shot. Now, the chance of hitting is reduced, however... These guys are really, really squishy at this point. They only have five health, and these weapons can do up to four normally, and up to six, I think, with criticals. So it's definitely not something that you want to play around with. So fortunately, we were able to take that one out without too much issue, uh, which means this guy, or is that a guy or is that a lady? It's hard to tell. That's a lady. Done. We will... Move you out here just so you have a little bit of a better view. Signature coming from that device implies the self destruct mechanism is still intact and priming for detonation. Perfect. Need to move quickly to recover it before it's too late. Okay, so this one will detonate after I think five more turns is what it's saying. So we want to make sure that we get up there before it detonates. Uh, this person has already shot, so they can't move. McDonald and all these guys are going to be getting new names. Uh, starting next episode. Unfortunately, you can't decide who your squad is at the beginning of the game, but afterwards you can change their name, uh, whether they like it or not. And so let's go ahead and move you here. Okay. So you have a little bit of cover just in case. There shouldn't be any aliens around here. We'll put you in Overwatch. We'll put you in Overwatch. And we'll wait to see what happens. There's probably a group up over in this area somewhere that I need to be careful of. But you should be able to, yes, move right here, pick up the meld, and we'll overwatch you. Excellent work, Commander. That should provide us with an ample supply of this substance for analysis. Perfect. I'm glad you're happy. That doctor gets really condescending sometimes. So anytime you can make her happy, it's pretty good. Otherwise, she'll probably talk to you like you're an idiot. Even though I am kind of an idiot. But it's okay. So these guys are here, and then I'm going to dash you all the way over 
here, so at least you're part of the squad again. I'm trying to keep uh, that one back as far as possible, just so they don't accidentally get shot and killed. Uh, the goal, the goal right here is to keep everyone alive if possible. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's see. I'm gonna move you up here, and then I'm gonna move you over here. I believe is gonna be the goal. Or somewhere where you can overlook. Okay, so you're safe up here. There's no aliens that I need to worry about. Perfect. Okay, you on the other hand, I do need to worry about. Let's see, you. Can I move you there? Yep, that's a little bit of defense. That way I can shoot down the street if I need to. There it is. Now, every time you encounter an alien for the first time, they get a movement. Uh, so even if they're out in the open, they'll generally hide and cover somewhere. Which can be kind of annoying. At least now, I have a chance to hit them. And at least now, I know where they are. Okay, you. We'll put you around the car. <laughs> now, you do want to be careful because cars can explode. And they do explode. Okay, so I can't hit anything. But if I put you in Overwatch, if that alien jumps out, I'll have a chance to shoot them. Which is generally a good thing. Uh, you, I do want to keep you back somehow. So I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you in the corner. Break through the wall like that, and you should be hopefully safe right there. All right, how did you not see that? Okay, so now you are gonna come up to the roof, and hopefully you should be able to shoot down at that person. 49%, not bad. 50-50 chance, basically. And of course I missed. That's okay. You are gonna come right here. So you'll be in cover, but you should be able to remove this guy's cover entirely. Oh, you're in Overwatch. Dang it. Ah, oh, good news. They missed. All right, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now you can see they have that, which means I have a 74% chance of hitting. And I miss it anyways. In good old XCOM fashion. Okay, you are going to come right here. And if you miss... Well, you deserve to die. 100% chance. Done. Done. Give us a leg up on whatever it is the aliens are developing. I'm sure All right. The will be eager to get started. I'm sure they will be. All right, guys. So what you'll see here is the results for the mission. Uh, we killed four out of four aliens. We lost zero out of our four guys and we recovered two out of two of the meld canisters. So basically, this was a perfect round. Uh, we do have one... A uh, guy that has injuries and they'll be out of the fight for a little bit But for the most part that went pretty much as well as could be hoped for uh, so operation blinding shroud has been a success uh, With that guys. I am gonna go ahead and pause it if you want to be part of our army if you want to volunteer for probably a horrific death to aliens, please post in the comments. Let me know uh, your name the name that you would like for your character uh, what class you would like to be uh, either uh, sniper support assault heavy and I think that's it for now um, and also make sure uh, you specify whether you're male or female or if you have a preference that way uh, and with that guys I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here uh, in the subsequent episodes what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the planning phase through the base phase all of that followed by one mission afterwards and that's about how we'll go uh, from here on out so we'll have the planning the management phase and then one battle and that'll be one episode uh, for now this is just kind of an introduction and uh, with that I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys uh, so if you enjoyed yourself uh, please don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button and uh, with that I will see you guys next time but until next time don't be a stranger thanks for watching take care